Fellas, Human on Shop Talk. We here live at Karma Cigar in uh, Maryville, Indiana. So look, we're in the middle of the NBA season. You already know what it is. It's, it's the heart of it right now. We play out about 20 games left in the season. So let's talk about it. So I'm gonna start off with, we already know the top two teams are the Cavs and the Bulls. They both been the finals the last two years. Look like it's gonna be another rematch, especially if Durant gets back in time. So I read an article about they compared the Cavs Warriors series right now to the Lakers Celtics of the 80s. They had the, had the ball and they were going to take off on the fast break. Larry Bird to Paris. They give it a magic. He's got Cooper on his right. Time perfectly. The pass. Right? But we all, we all open up the whole series, right? We all open up the Right? Match versus Bird, the whole nine, right? You are that whole. So look, so let's, so let's talk about it. How do you feel about the Cavs Warriors series? How KDF? Yeah. They've been shaping up to be that way. Uh, got, they the, they the two best teams clearly in the league. Right? Shaping up to be that way because either you're going to Cleveland, you're going to go to the state, you're trying to find a way to get there. So David West of the world, or KD, your So they, it's shaping up like everyone has to be them two. And you're changing your team around that you add more shooters, you add more big men. Step out and shoot. You have to match it. So yes, it's safe. So, so, so it's safe. Yeah. Okay, so we talk about possible Hall of Fames on both sides of the equation, right? Just like what the Lakers said. Can I just respond to KD over here? Go ahead. Your question was: Is this the Boston, LA? Same no. That was a great series, man. Every time they met, them was great. <laughs> trying to help out. Magic gets inside the basket, counts on a foul. And a great three. pass. That was a great pass to Green. Series, man. They only had one, so you one enjoy series. You enjoy it was okay, but when you talk about Boston and L.A., come on, man. You said we all were old enough to watch them series, man. That was great series. Anytime they stepped on the floor to each other, they battled. This right here, it's okay, but it's a little watered down. Water down. Yeah, it was that's one little beat. Y'all don't see how the ball is in the LA front. You don't see how the ball is in the LA front. You don't see how the ball is in the LA front. Cleveland. Curry blocked by James. That type of game no more. It's not that well. You can't do that anymore. If I elbow you a little bit, it's a flank run. Like, you can't do that anymore. You're right, but still. They're going to let them play, man. They're going to let them play. But it's not right. like it was before. I mean, you can't compare them series, man. I'm sorry to go. The oh, cats oh, are oh, oh, tough oh, minds. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think these cats are tough minded like they were back in the days. And I mean, every position, you had a hardcore dude against another hardcore dude. It's not like that this series. We got nothing but shooters now. It's no centers in the league no more, no nothing like that. No hardcore rebounds. You got guys seven feet tall trying to shoot three points. Right. Right. That's, that's the crazy part of the NBA to me right now. It's a, young, it's a young man, small man's jump shot game. Everybody, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry. But they don't see the, the, the beauty of that Scott Hook. It's not like that no more. But, but, but those, those, those matchups, just like with Boston LA, those matchups, Steph against Kyrie, Durant versus LeBron, like, like there's some, some good matchups. We're talking some classic matchups. Like, you, you don't get to see them every day. That's similar to the bird magic. This year, if they meet up, you do. The last year when they met, it was LeBron against Golden State. You had Steph versus Kyrie. So to come back from 3-1, that wasn't a, that that wasn't was a great series? That, that was beautiful. beautiful. That was I, sad. That was beautiful. I think, right. That was sad. It was sad, actually. But I, I think the problem was they haven't played. Like, Boston and LA went a decade playing this. So these guys played, what, two, two three times? This will be the third. This will be, this will be, this will be the, the third. third. It's not really enough. But you don't think it's shaping up to that? I think it's shaping up to that. But the 
reason we're not feeling it, maybe the reason he's not feeling it, is they only this only gonna be third time. Then it's okay. an entirely different team. But another thing, too, I think everybody is overlooking San Antonio. I, I would say San Antonio can take Golden State out, especially the Red Bulls right now. Every team is one guy away from Red one guy being hurt from right. being out of this. Like just say for instance that LeBron go down, he would bat ankle. Anything. Oh, LeBron go down. Creeps go down. They said in Boston. But look what happened to Steph. Steph had that. In, uh, he had something wrong with his leg before. Right. And they almost didn't make it back in. Okay, so that's so that's a good point. So let's start with the West because the Golden State is actually top. So you said San Antonio already, right? What team do you think could take Golden State out in seven in the West? To stop them from getting to the final. It's only San Antonio. It's only San Antonio. Everybody else, they up and down. They not consistent enough. I, I would really have to say San Antonio. San Antonio, you got there. Probably San Antonio is the only team. Houston give them run for their money. I'll tell you why. Houston plays the exact same game as Golden State. Yep. They can score, they can shoot, they can get one injury. KD now makes Golden State home. It's the same team. They don't have the same bench. Houston has all shooters. Houston has our VP candidate. Houston plays the exact same same style. But I think the thing with Houston is you know, Houston, Houston, Houston picking up Lou Williams. Houston picking up Lou Williams is big though. Houston picking up Lou Williams. Yes. That was Houston. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was Dude, Houston. they can score. The only way you win the NBA championship is with defense. No, no. San Antonio does not have to run with their money, but they probably right. they can run. San Antonio can be up. Okay, let's talk about the East here real quick. Let's talk about the East. Who could take the Cavs out? Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Nobody. If I got to choose, I'm going to choose the Washington Wizards. It's a good call. Seven Washington's days. a good call. Great call. Washington's a good call. Boston. Yeah. Boston. Yeah. I got to go with Boston. They're young. They young. And they, play, they play together as a team. That's what makes them better than Boston. That's good. It's teamwork. They don't have no, like, really stars except for Isaiah Thomas, but everybody knows their role when they in what he did. Okay, Charles, you got I can't agree with Boston. The reason why, today they lost to Phoenix. The score was in the hundreds. When you start getting the playoffs, the game's going to be in the eighties. They can't play that. You, you, guys, you gotta play that half court. court. Yeah. Yeah. Half court. When they come up with half court in the playoffs, they take the ball out of the time. So I'm going, going even though I like Washington, I like Toronto, especially if they pick up Bach. If Lowry gets back, I know he's hurt. But if he gets back, I love Toronto with Bach. That was a great move. So let's move on. So let's talk about MVP. Because that conversation, we already know that conversation. So who are the candidates right now? You got Westbrook, Harden, Isaiah Thomas, and LeBron, and uh, Kawhi Leonard. So if you had to pick MVP right now, Charles, who you got? I had Westbrook, 100%. 100% Westbrook? Okay, triple double, right? Triple double man, and he's going to do whatever it takes to win. Okay. Ben. I like Kawhi. But I'm gonna go with Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. He runs that team. You take, short man, you take him away. You take, you take him away. You take him away. You take him away. Boston is nothing. And it's all about what you bring to your team. If you're not making the people around you better, you're not the MVP. Kev, what you got? I'm gonna give y'all one bet. I got James Harden. I got James Harden. Mike Dantoni turned him into a point guard this year. An actual point guard. So he's leading the league in assists. He's still averaging close to 30 points a game. He is this year making this team better. Now, they're not the top team in the place, but he's still they're number three. They're number three. They're they're number three. three. He's still right this year. The reason why I'm not going Westbrook, yes, the triple doubles are incredible. Right? He shoots the ball more than he needs to. And, and the turnovers are bad. And the turnovers are Turn that's up big. So you can apply this one, <laughs> yeah, that's why he's right. If, 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 if you watch if you watch Westbrook, he shoots the ball, he don't trust his teammates. He shoots the ball when he when he's really not supposed to. I think he's counting do I have ten assists. But Westbrook. Do I have ten rebounds? West, West, Westbrook I will give you that. I will yeah, give you that. Not, but have you seen Westbrook game. close games out? Just watch the game. You seen Westbrook close games out? I seen him close some and I saw him take some shots at his teammate was wild. And he should have passed the ball. Well one six, seven. Okay, for me, just watch it. For me. I'm going to stick with LeBron, top team in the East, of course. And we see them with LeBron out on the court. Even with Kyrie's out there, even when Love was healthy, with Kyrie and Love out there, they still can't do shit without LeBron. So I'm going to go with LeBron for my MVP. Just flat out. They're going to be in that yeah. category every year. I know exactly. Yeah. But you got to put this to the most valuable player. I got Love and Love. Tell me, 
I think I love and my, my, and my only problem with, with Westbrook is o OKC is what, six? six. It's like a six seed. Right. I, I, I don't think you can be MVP better. if you're not, you're not at least the top three in this conference, right? I don't think that's my whole point. Okay. You're getting your stats. Okay, that, okay, that's a good run. So look, I did a blog a couple of weeks ago about most dysfunctional franchises in the hmm. NBA. Most dysfunctional. And I took the Bulls and the Knicks. So that was a comparison, the Bulls and the Knicks. We know both of these franchises are all over the place, right? They both need to read the Atlanta. Where are they going with this whole thing? So, I'm going to start this one with being most dysfunctional, Bulls and Knicks. But you know it got to be New York. Only because all the drama that's in the, that's in the locker room, all of that, they are so dysfunctional, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay. But I will say, I don't care what you talk about this rebuild and all that. <laughs> out, of, out of the whole NBA, the Lake Show is the most dis dysfunctional. I'm going to say that. I, 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 my I, man okay. is over here. Yeah. I'm going to throw that out there. <laughs> I, I know we're talking about two teams, but I'll they, go with the Knicks. I think it's honorable mention. Honorable mention is <laughs> LA because they trying to impeach their boss. How you going to do that, man? That's, that, was, that was kind of wild. Hold on. Let's go with John. Most dysfunctional pulls in it. <laughs> you you taking the Knicks? I would take the Knicks. I mean, I think that the Bulls, even though they had their drama going on, they won three out of the last five years. True. And they beat some top team, top teams. They beat Santa, no, they beat uh, Golden State at right. home. They beat two other good teams, but they lose to the sucker teams. That's the only thing. Right. At home. How yeah. do you get your butt whooped at home like that? They just lost at home to. The last game they just played. The Clippers. You know, to the Clippers. Clippers. They should have beat the Clippers. They was up by, by eight on them and let them come back in the fourth quarter and tear them up. Okay. Back home. Okay. Well, let me take the obvious. Come on, brother. Uh, the reason why the Bulls lose to sucker teams is because they are a sucker team. <laughs> Damn. The reason why. You have a team. Damn. I got reasons. I got reasons. You have a team full of people that don't. Brought in Ray John Rondo. I got brought in Wayne yeah. Wade. The roster was terrible. Brought in Jim, Jimmy Butler's man. Right? Right. You had no shooters. And you traded McDermott. Right. You have little ties because you know, we know he wants to do something. Now Wade is going to walk off in the summer, and so is Rondo. So now you love from Butler, who really, in my opinion, doesn't even want to be here. Then you go up top to the manager. You got John right. Paxson and Garth Foreman running this yeah, organization, right, right. who Ryan's both come out and say they ain't going nowhere. Right? Yes. So now they're not the players they're bringing in. They on the bench the whole year. They're just playing right now. It's on the bench. So you're bringing in rookies every year that you don't even play. So you're not developing your players. Is that on the coach? That's all. I think they got a sucker coach. I'll get to the coach. I'll take it. Coming down to the coach. I think it's a mix. I think it's a mix. Then your your organization brings in all Iowa State guys because we're cool, right? The fishing guys. So then you bring in a guy who has absolutely no business coaching in the NBA. No, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Let me, let me, wait, wait. Can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? Let me ask you a question. Wait, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Is Roy Bird really getting a fair shot? The roster's all over the place. He got the worst front office in, in the NBA. Next to Sacramento. So how did it's next to Sacramento? They got to step in. He's behind eight ball to start. Right. But he's Look at his roster, though. Who can win with that roster? Rondo, they should they should have waived Rondo. Boston, right away. They should have Boston brought in Brad Stevens. Boston did exactly what the Bulls should have done. They stripped it down, they stripped it, it down. took a couple years long. Then all right. of a sudden, they brought in a young coach, brought in young players. They played similar to what the Lakers want. Well, they brought in uh, young players. Uh, look, 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 they got yeah. young players with a young coach, and they 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 rebuild them. I'll take it. I got I got to go with the Knicks. That Derrick Rose shit was ridiculous. The, the no call, no show bullshit. No they just suspended the dude. That was a trick. The, the public feud with what Phil Jackson and Melo. No call, no show. The public, the public feud with Melo and Phil was 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 horrible. You know what I mean? And so right now you got a team that just signed Melo. They all over the place. Presenters can't really get his. He's a young builder of things, but that roster's a mess, man. They even, they even talk about cutting roads just last week. Do you agree? Let, let me ask you this: Do y'all agree that when they got rid of teams, Bulls got rid of teams? And they traded Rose. They should have went forward. And they let uh, Noah go. That was forward. the end of this run, man. Right. You should have tore it down right then and there. But they weren't expecting Wade to be a baby. Well, Nobody thought Wade was leaving mine. Well, that's true, but you signed around it before that. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. So, where you going? And then, you're not even, you done told people that, that uh, Paxton and, and Carr, they're not going to know. 
That doesn't mean nothing. So what's three H's going to come to Chicago? That don't mean nothing. Just because you true. said it. That's true. That, that, that's true. That's true. You, you, that's that's true. Right. you will, right. you will right. get everybody, all on on this way. Like, oh, I'm not going to get ready to so and so. As soon as that day one, right after the season's over with, they can be all gone. Hey, that's not going to happen. Look, not look, look, they, happen. Went to, not they went to DeMarcus Cousin crib and told him, we're not trading. <laughs> but what happened? He's gone. What we talking about? I'm all right, so at the end of the day, end of the day, you know, we, we, uh, three of us got New York, we got the Bulls dysfunctional, we all got different MVPs, and we disagree with Golden State.